Nice, it's turned out that I forgot to add uh, the username num to our user model, which uh, we have modified uh, and extended from abstract user, abstract user and the permissions mixing. Uh, just just quickly fix it. So add the username num in, into the uh, the user class. Uh, run Python manage by make migrations. Then uh, they quickly migrate it. And of course, uh, you need to run server. The same thing applies to um, to front end side. We we need to fire up uh, our front end. Let's just quickly. Um, if we go to our browser and let's see so uh, yeah we have uh, the admin panel reloaded and we have also our next app uh, let's just go to sign up and uh, put some data uh, into the fields so mm -hmm. Um, and our password, something. Let's just uh, open the inspect, go to the network, let's see like if it will work. So sign up and as you see, let me just zoom in a bit. Uh, as you see that uh, the status code is 201, that's, that means that our post request has been uh, succeeded with the created status. And the response, uh, which was returned, like email, first name, and the last name, without uh, the password. And uh, if you quickly go to uh, to the admin panel, it should be there with yeah our username, uh, our email, and the new user has been registered successfully. So uh, that's uh, basically we. Have we did wrong with uh, the extending our user model. Uh, we need to put the username none uh, into this uh, user class. Uh, that's it. Uh, we have completed the registration part uh, from the front end and uh, from the API side. Uh, basically, uh, we need to do some login. Okay, see you uh, in the next video where we are going to start to do some login actions.